Welcome back to Broken Sword 5. This is part 9 of this series. We travel back to the gallery again because the inspector wants to see us for his reconstruction. Once again, back to Lee Luzard Blue. Inside the gallery, I can see lots of activity. Now they preparing for the reconstruction, no doubt. It's been an epic journey so far, and we found some good evidence um, that it could be an inside job stealing the painting. So, Nico and I had a good idea who the killer was. Now, all we had to do was persuade Nave. Sir, I already tried starting it up. I, I think it's broken. Nonsense, Moo. This machine has the power of ten investigators. But investigators never fail to start up, sir. Your pessimism is duly noted, Moo. But have faith. This machine will analyze the scene, compute the data, and deduce everything for us. The location of the second shooter will be a mystery no more. <clears throat> One moment. A marvel indeed, sir. Though at the moment, it is kaput. Your pessimism has obviously infected the circuitry, Moo. <laughs> the camaraderie between the two. Let me think for a moment. If I could just... Shh! Eh bien, Moo, now try realigning the laser matrix. Sir, I have no idea. <laughs> Move over, Moo. Now... Let me see. Oscillating reverberator. Check. Refraction spectrometer. Check. Now, what can it be? Ah, Monsieur Stobart, it's only you. Glad you could finally make it. Inspector. I've got some good news and some bad news. Oh, yes? I shall be the judge of that. I think I know who the killer is. Really? Yep, he's a gardener called Shears living in London. Fascinating. And the good news? We don't need to do your reconstruction. You joke with me, Monsieur Stubbot. It's not a joke. This guy Shears was working for a Russian ex-mobster. It's all part of a highly complex fraud. Gardeners. KGB. Fraud. You are a fantasist, monsieur. And I have no time for fantasy. Reality is my suitcase, as you Americans say. Now, stand over there and keep out of trouble until the others arrive. Well, who are we waiting for? Mademoiselle Collard and Father Simeon. Please, I am very busy. Please keep the pass at you, George. <laughs> ah, Moo, a clever choice. But no cigar for you. Try the red. That is a weird device thing. Mon Dieu. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Whatever, how's it not working properly? Let's talk to Lane, see if he could shed some light on the subject. Still bought. What's the deal with that device over there? It's a farce. They've been trying to get it working for hours. Looks like something out of a 50s sci-fi movie. It probably is. What do you think of Nave? The man is a buffoon. I have better things to do than wait for these idiots to get their forensic whatnot to work. The only silver lining is that Nave seems more annoyed than I am. <laughs> I gather you're the man to ask about the provenance for the painting. For the maledictio? Well, you have been busy, haven't you, Stobart? I'd like to see it. So speak to Bijou. She took care of the business side of the gallery. The provenance is in the office safe. She has the key. Lane was a pushover when you had him cornered. Though it looked like Bijou hadn't been completely honest with me after all. I needed to pay her another visit. Well, let's go here, then. Make a move. Who? The policeman with Nave. 
I assume he's another idiot. <laughs> Why that? I believe one can tell a man by the company he keeps. Well, I'll bear that in mind, Mr. Lane. Okay, thanks. Uh, yes, yes. Sir, I think we are ready to fire her up. Yes, me. I was just about to say the same thing. Do it. What have you done? Pardon me, sir, but I believe it was you who said, This is no time for blame. You have broken the machine. Mon Dieu. Let's say that were useless. Seriously useless. Oh, look. It was pointless trying to get a closer look at the machine while Nave and Mu were tinkering with it. Well, the only way to get out here is to try and distract the two of them so I can get a look at this machine Nave, and fix it. I ask you some questions? You must wait, monsieur. I am extremely busy. Sure, if you want. Yeah. Because I need to get out of here and see Bujou, so I'm kind of stuck. Unless I distract them somehow. Old. I didn't need to touch it. Got to that end, um, I've fall, followed the end of the wires, I can see Monsieur Stobart, please remain within the main gallery It was better not to try to enter the office again To that end, I followed the end of the wires, I can see where the plug was plugged in If I pulled the plug out, I'd just get Nave even more worked up I decided to bide my time and wait for the right moment. If I pulled the plug, I decided to... That was where La Maledixia used to hang. The security camera still kept a vigil over the gallery. It was better not... <laughs> that would be... Pl
stupid. Monsieur Stobart, you will not leave until this is over. Understood? But I just need to... This is a reconstruction. You will remain here until I have concluded my investigations. Do I make myself clear? Okay, okay, clear. I considered making a run for it, but forcing Moo to chase me would have been cruel. And it would have been silly to risk my investigation. Better to play along with Nave and get the reconstruction over as quickly as possible. So I came over here so that I when the machine is plugged in. If I pulled the plug out, I'd just get Nave even more worked up. I decided to bide my time and wait for the right moment. It was better not to try to enter the office again. Excuse me. Please, monsieur, I'm a little busy. It was point. Inspector Nave. What seems to be the problem? Monsieur Stobart, if Paris finest cannot get this very expensive and very complex machine to work, then I doubt if an insurance salesman can... I'm an insurance assessor, actually. Oh, I see. Well, la di da to you, monsieur. Oh, yeah? Well, la di da to you back. Hmm, whatever. You are neither qualified nor clever enough to operate such an instrument. Like us. What was that, Moo? I said, uh, unlike us, sir. Have you been a detective long? Long enough, monsieur? You've solved a lot of crimes, I guess. More than you have had hot dinners. Well, I've had a lot of hot dinners, Inspector. Oh, yes? How many? What? Precisely how many hot dinners have you had, monsieur? I don't know. Uh, thousands? You prove my point for me, monsieur. Precision and accuracy are everything. You truly are a unique and amazing man, Inspector Nave. Well, I'm glad you are impressed. If I could just get Nave out of the way. Okay, as I try and figure out ways to get Nave out of the way, I think the best way would be to unplug his dramatic device from the wall. Like so. <laughs> Let's see if this will catch the piggy's intention. Let's talk to Nave. <laughs> Inspector Nave. I know this sounds obvious, but are you sure it's plugged in? Monsieur Stobart, do you really think I would be so stupid as to not check the fundamentals? We all make mistakes. What a ridiculous generalization, monsieur. Look, I can see from here, it's... Ah. Do you need assistance, sir? Very funny, no. One moment. That got rid of him. Now is my chance. Good there. Great chance to quickly fix this machine. I was going to have to figure that out quickly. Or we better color code the pressing. The machine did nothing.
There we go. Time to get the show on the road. See, Moo? I knew I would get it working. I'm not sure that you... Precisely. <laughs> you knew my superior intellect would win through in the end. Yes, sir. Sir, I beg your pardon, but I think there is a teeny snack. Go on. We have no victim. Good God, Moo. Are you suggesting I kill someone for the sake of this reenactment? <laughs> no, sir. Just say uh. need a body, sir. Ah, yes. I see. You will make a detective yet, Moo. I, of course, foresaw this. And I nominate <laughs> you. Me? Well, I'm not dead. Have you ever acted, Monsieur Stabart? Well, I don't like to blow my own trumpet, but I went down a storm playing the lead in Cat on a Felt-Tip Roof last summer. <laughs> hmm. You played the cat? Uh, no. So, not the lead. Half truths again, Monsieur. Nevertheless, here is your chance to play a real lead role. But he looks nothing like the victim, sir. Damn it, Moo. Must you find problems all the time? Let me think of a way to make this work. Relying on Nave's problem-solving skills could mean a long, long wait. <laughs> I had to find something to make me more like Henri. I'll have a look around. Maybe I'll find something. Yes, you do that. Very similitude is the key, Stobart. Where's the what? There's <laughs> Nico. <laughs> she might come and save me from this madhouse. Ah, you have arrived at last. I was selling as well. Father Simeon, Nico. Hi, Josh. Welcome to the asylum. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. Nave is overjoyed we've solved the case and he's putting us up for an award. Mm, not quite. I told him about Shears and Nadovsky. He says it's fantasy. But that's crazy. Tell me about it. So what do we do now? Carry on anyway, and nail Nadovsky. What about Nave? Ignore him. And this charade? The reconstruction? Well, sooner it starts, sooner it's over. Oh, well. Josh, what on earth is that machine? It's Nave's baby. Supposedly, it's going to analyze the crime scene and tell us what happened. But we already know what happened. Sure we do, but Nave doesn't. Quiet, please! How can I concentrate with all this racket going on? Lane was right. Nave was an idiot. <laughs> oh. There was no point making small talk. The best place to find all these things was in his office. Alright, let me see if I can find something that makes it look like ornery. On the head of the statue was a pair of Henri's glasses. Maybe, just maybe, the glasses would make me look like Henri. Right? It was a statue of Henri. I opened the compartment again. Yeah, but there's no point looking at the safe because there's a key. I wasn't going to open the safe without the key. Um. I wasn't going to open the. All right, I need to look like ornery. See what else is in here. Um. It was the pair. This is the only glasses, my dear. Let's navigate and see if um, these glasses will do. I've found Henri's glasses. Stole or found? Never mind. That might just do it. Come. 
Come on, everyone, into position. I want everyone to stand precisely where they were when the victim <laughs> died. Why is he here on the floor? <laughs> this process is ridiculous. God moves in mysterious ways, Father. <laughs> Indeed. And the devil makes work for idle hands, Mr. Stobart. Shh. Stobart, you are supposed to be dead. Please be dead more quietly. <laughs> so funny. I tried to tell Nave the truth about his bloodstain. Didn't he believe you? You're a man of God. His faith is in science, Mr. Stobart, not God. Father? Yes, my son. You keep talking about the Gnostics. Who are they? They are a cult. A warped branch of Christianity that reveres Lucifer as equal to or perhaps greater than God. I can see how that might trouble the Vatican. The Vatican is the least of your worries. Please <laughs> no be way. quiet! Um. Do you think the machine will give the inspector some insight into Henri's murder? He will find the answers he seeks, but he asks the wrong questions. This was no ordinary murder. Do you think Inspector Nave will ever figure this out? I'm not sure, although I'm no expert. Yeah, neither is he by the looks of it. Last time we met, you said the stolen painting was evil. Let me explain. I'm a Dominican, Mr. Stobart. The Dominican Order was founded to seek out and destroy heresy. Interesting. Why? Because heresy is evil. Okay. A thousand years we have fought against heresy. Indeed, our enemies gave us a nickname, the Hounds of God. Dominicanus, Dominican, you see? Very clever. Now this painting, the Manedictio, is without doubt heretical. Whoa, ho hold on. How can a painting be heretical? Because it is filled with Gnostic imagery. And Gnostics are heretics. What kind of imagery? Evil imagery. The Ouroboros, the snake eating its tail. Images of false saints, heretical saints. So you think the painting itself is evil? It trails murder in its wake, Mr. Stobart. And murder is police work, Monsieur. Silence, please, both of you. <laughs> the Ouroboros, what exactly is it? It is a Gnostic symbol. It marks something that is hidden. There are trees illustrated within the Ouroboros. They symbolize knowledge. So the Ouroboros alludes to hidden knowledge. <laughs> the painting must be destroyed to stop this knowledge being revealed. Uh -huh. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That is the first set of results completed. Only 36 more to do. Please remain in position while we reset the machine. You may relax and talk amongst yourselves. Who are these false saints? Gnostic saints, not beatified by the church. They question orthodoxy. Lure the unwary down dark paths of forbidden knowledge and condemn innocent souls to the fires of damnation. You mean like a Black Sabbath album? <laughs> Dark Adam. Vade Retro Satana. What's the matter? It is worse than I thought. What is it? It's just a sketch. Not just a sketch. A painting. So a hen. I wondered if it was something I'd said. I have to get out of here. Now. Father Simeon, I forbid you to leave. This is an official investigation. Don't you understand? A great evil is upon 
this. I think he's lost it. Who's this guy? Heretical Gnostics in league with the devil himself. The devil? Don't you understand? The tabula veritatis. The tablet of truth. Tablet? What? Oh well, someone is upset. Pressing your witnesses a little too hard, Inspector Neve. And you are? This is official police business. Richard Langham, Interpol, serious art theft. We spoke on the phone, Inspector? Ah, yes, sir. Um, oh, you didn't say you would be attending my crime scene. What exactly is this machine, Inspector? Yeah, we're wondering that as well. <laughs> A little invention of mine, Monsieur Langham. It will compute whose blood this is on the floor, and... Not to worry, Inspector. Perhaps you could move aside? I'm intrigued to see what you're up to. Ah, of course. It is rather groundbreaking. Pizza box. Hmm. It looks like your suspect was a Hawaiian, Inspector. A Hawaiian? Mon Dieu. Mou! Get on to the Hawaiian Embassy. Right away. <laughs> there is a search killer on the loose. Alert the Air Force. <laughs> oh, the seriously? Of... Sorry, Inspector. I mean, Hawaiian pizza. Your blood stain is a pizza sauce. Pizza? Mou! You fool! <laughs> Forget the surf shops. Get on to the Italian embassy. This has oh, wow, he's written so all thick. over it. <laughs> now, Inspector, if you don't mind, I'd like to speak to your witnesses. And in the meantime, perhaps you should try and get your priest back. Madame Collard, Mr. Stobart, I assume. Can I buy you chaps a coffee? Langham sound a little more on the ball. Maybe he'd bring a dose of common sense to the case. <laughs> so, Inspector Nave brought me up to speed and told me about you guys. I can guess what he said. But what's your interest in the robbery? I've been tracking a gang of art thieves for some time, and this looked like a good lead. Nice guy, this guy. But Nave is worse than useless. I was hoping you might be able to help. We're well, flattered. <laughs> Just doing our jobs. We all are, or at least trying to. So, maybe we can help each other. I gather you insured the exhibition. That's right, and uh, we're liable to lose a packet. Any leads so far? Maybe. <sighs> There's a Russian guy called Madovsky who turns out to be the owner of the painting. Madovsky? You know him? Oligarch, oil, art, aluminium. Ex KGB. Very nasty. You need to be careful. Madovsky is dangerous. He kills anyone who gets in his way. Yeah. For a cop, Langham seemed okay. Trouble with doing deals with cops, there's usually a payback down the line. But I figured that'd be a price worth paying to bring down Madovsky. We found evidence that links Madovsky to the company that installed the security at the gallery. Hmm. Interesting. And one of his men, guy called Shears, was in Paris on the day of the robbery. Really? We also found a letter from someone called Gainan wanting to buy the painting from Madovsky. Gainan? The name rings a bell? Did you find anything else about him? No, we were in a hurry. What about the priest? Ah, the good father Simeon. Well, something spooked him, that's for sure. So I gather... That's some nations. La Maledizio was evil. Speak to. Perhaps he's right. It certainly caused evil, hasn't it? I'll take leads from anyone, Mr. Stobart, even a crazy priest. <laughs> crazy priest. Sir. Let's keep in touch. Thank you for your help. Coffee's on me, or rather, 
on Interpol. On Interpol? <laughs> Miss Collard, Mr. Stobart. Oh, that guy's good. Good acting from that guy, though. So, George, what do you think? Interesting. He seems to be on top of things. I agree. You know, Nico, this could start getting dangerous. You think Langham's right about Madovsky? Well, he appears to be on the ball. I thought he was cute. <laughs> he was English, Nico. They're all cute to you. <laughs> you done death. Oh, Nico, Nico. Oh, yeah? Well, what about my hidden depths? You showed me those long ago, Georges. <laughs> well, I'm going to write up the story so far. You? I have to see a woman about a dog. A stuffed dog, that is. You're talking riddles again, Georges. I need to pay Bijou another visit. She's not been completely honest with me. <laughs> Off to Bijou's house. Join us next time for more a broken sword, more mystery, intrigue, and drama.